Welcome back. So in the previous lesson, we learned how easy it was to pull data from a SQLite database into R. And in this example, what I want to show you is how it is similar to pull data from a MySQL database, or alternatively, Postgres or Oracle and other systems as well. So it's going to look very, very similar to how it looked in the previous video when we were getting the data from a SQLite database. Generally, you're going to be provided um, some login parameters to access data from certain database that your company has or your organization has. So just to give a bit of a preview, I basically went ahead and loaded the Airbnb data into a MySQL database. I created this Airbnb database. And then within that, I have just a single table, the Airbnb data table. You can see that all of the columns uh, that we were using in our previous videos are also here. So I'm just going to jump back to R now and we will connect to the database. A couple of things to keep in mind is uh, make sure that you have the R MariaDB uh, library installed. There are some alternatives such as R MySQL, so that could potentially also be used. And then the DBI library is the one that we used from the last video as well. I specified some parameters that I use to connect to the database. So my user, my password, the name of the database, the host, it's a local host, and then port. So in this case, I have uh, the database just locally. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to it. So I'm going to assign it to a variable called connection. And then here, I'm going to use the function that we saw previously, which was db connect. And here, we're going to specify a couple of things. So Instead of SQLite for the driver, we have the MariaDB, which we're getting it through the R MariaDB uh, library. I'm also going to specify the name of the database, so DB name equals database. I'm going to specify the user, the password, and then the host and the port. So host and port. So if I go ahead and run this, we should have uh, a formal class for the connection, which we got here, as you can see. Next up, uh, the, the steps are pretty similar to what we did last time. So we're just going to go ahead and get the results from the database. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use uh, this table. And then what we're going to reference is our connection. And we're going to specify the name of the table we're pulling this from. So as we saw, it was the Airbnb data. And I'm going to say collect. I'm going to go ahead and assign this to a variable called data, as we've been doing before. And then at this point, once once we pull in the data, we can just go ahead and disconnect from the database. So we're just going to use the same function, db disconnect. And then here, I'm going to specify the connection. So let's go ahead and preview the results. If everything runs and uh, goes ahead well, then we should see some pretty familiar data. So now I can see that the data got loaded in, I'm just going to disconnect and I'm going to preview the data. So now we're back in a pretty familiar territory, uh, same number of rows and columns, uh, the data is looking pretty good. So here, even though you won't have access to this specific database uh, that I'm using, I still wanted to give an example of how uh, in, a, in a scenario such as this in your company where you'll have access to an enterprise database, you'll uh, use a similar series of steps to get the data into R before you can do your analysis. I hope that you found this useful. Uh, thank you for joining me.